Hello everybody, welcome to the class. Vamos a esperar solo un par de minutitos mientras los demás se van, ¿ok? Just two or three minutes. Hey, everybody, welcome to the class. My name is Eric Asensio. I will be your teacher for the intermediate six module. So welcome to the class. It's a pleasure. Uh, quizá lo primero, pues, es preguntar si tienen acceso ya a la plataforma. ¿Todos tienen ya acceso a la plataforma? ¿O hay alguien que falte, se trata de meter y todavía no tiene? In no. my case, no. No he intentado, no tiene acceso. No tengo, no accept. Ah, ok. Ok. Uh, ¿Los demás compañeros? Yo sí tengo. Sí, perfecto. ¿Todos los demás entonces? Sí, no hay problema. Solo Iván. Check into that. Hold on a second. I have access to you. Don't don't pull it. Perfect. So that is the first question that I have for you. So now we're going to check about the uh, uh, the class, uh, we're going to check a few things. Vamos a chequear un par de cosas que son cosas que siempre se ven. Yo sé que ustedes ya la saben, pero que hay que revisar. So, this is the class of tonight. And uh, sí, vamos a ver un par de cosas. Okay. Uh, so, bueno, en primer lugar, it's uh, necessary to have 80% of the homeworks in the platform. An evaluation so you can finish the course satisfactory, right? Also remember that all the homeworks and all the tests are there in the platform. So after every class, we need to go and do an activity. 
eh, no es exactamente eh, después de cada clase porque la unidad 2 se extiende dos semanas. Entonces, en ese lapso hay una, una clase, bueno, hay dos clases y una tarea, dos clases y una tarea. Sí. But in the rest of the units, it's going to be after every class, we need to finish one um, homework. Okay, all the homeworks of the topics that we cover have to be completed before the next uh, Friday at midnight, okay? Because we send to Insanford the grades. Siempre se envían las notas a Insanford los viernes, bueno, los sábados se envían en la mañana. Entonces, los viernes tiene que estar terminado todo, aunque hemos iniciado miércoles. Entonces, va a ser un poco diferente, pero hay que tener finalizado eso, okay? Uh, para el examen eh, intermedio, el midterm test, la fecha límite es el 8 de agosto. Yo le voy a ir recordando antes de la medianoche. Y para el final exam es el 21 de agosto. Terminamos, no sé si 21 o 22 de agosto, algo por el estilo. Entonces, uh, ese día tendríamos que ir terminando. ¿Okay? El manual se puede descargar de la plataforma. Ya se los envié por aquí, por el grupo de verdad para que lo puedan descargar también. Si ustedes lo quieren imprimir o tenerlo en digital, no hay problema. Hay algunos ejercicios que vamos a hacer ahí. Los pueden hacer en el libro o lo pueden hacer en un cuaderno, no hay problema. Okay. Uh, do you have any questions before we continue? Uh, yes, we are going to have three days for vacation. Uh, yes, uh, most likely we are going to have vacations. Todavía no sé exactamente qué fechas son las de la vacación, pero yes, we are going to have vacations. Si ustedes cuentan desde ahora hasta la fecha que terminamos, que es por ahí por el 21 de agosto, creería yo que es una semana entera la que se va a, a descansar. Sin embargo, pues yo les voy a estar dando los, los updates y también eh, Inglés Corporativo les envía al grupo el... Uh, El, la información so no problem ok any other questions before we continue ok so it's very important you have your whole name in the in the zoom class ok it's very very important uh, for the listeners, please just add oyente in the name. Uh, la cámara debe estar encendida durante toda la sesión. Esto es importante. Insafor hace auditorías y ya nos ha pasado, digo ahí porque ya nos ha sucedido, ¿verdad? Que la gente que no enciende la cámara el día cabal de la auditoría, ya no le da la cámara, se la quita. Así es de que no hay problema si usted tiene hambre, yo sé que viene de trabajar, pues si quiere cenar, tomarse un cafecito... No hay problema, eso no, no tiene ningún inconveniente, pero si sí, la cámara tiene que estar encendida. That is a must, ok? It's very, very important. No quisiera que en el futuro alguien se quedara sin la beca por esto. Y recuérdense que la beca no solo se pierde la de inglés, sino que para siempre na, no le dan ya más eh, becas sin sofor. Entonces, es demasiado el riesgo. Uh, minimizar el sonido ambiente lo más posible. So, if you are not participating, press mute, okay? That is very important because I mean, we are at home, there are some noises, right? And uh, participación activa, es muy importante que participemos. Recordemos que venimos a aprender y si usted no practica aquí, a veces ya no se puede practicar en otra parte. Entonces, hay que lanzarse de cabeza, hay que, hay que hacer pues la práctica, hay que preguntar también. Si tienen preguntas, háganlo. Eh, lo que sea, si no entienden algo o si yo les explico algo y no lo entienden, hagan. Entonces, la clase va a ser mayormente inglés, la verdad es que no voy a hablar español, pero si fuera necesario para entender mejor, se puede hablar español, como ahorita, con estos lineamientos que son en español. Pero eh, es importante que, que practiquemos. That is very important. Inglés, esto es como aprender a manejar un carro. Y lo puedo explicar para qué sirve cada parte, pero si usted no se sienta a manejar, Y practica, pues no va a llegar a, a aprender lo que tiene. So, practice is a very, very important part of the class. Okay. 
Uh, the attendance is 100% of the classes. Tenemos que estar en la clase. Si alguno tiene alguna emergencia, está trabajando o algo por el estilo, la recomendación es que se conecte y que nos avise en el chat. Pero mira, ahora estoy trabajando y no voy a poder participar. Eso no tiene que ser todas las clases. ¿verdad? Pero en una emergencia, ese es el protocolo. Entonces, es bien importante que usted se conecte a las clases. ¿Por qué Insafor puede ver ahí a qué hora se conectó, a qué hora se salió? ¿Cuántos minutos estuvo usted activo en la clase? So, es muy importante. Y por eso dice el siguiente, cumplir con los 120 minutos de clase. Eso es importante, ¿verdad? Sé que a veces vamos a ver la tarde o el estilo. Entonces, no hay problema. Me a veces trato de conectar lo antes posible. Siempre conectar. Se toma la asistencia en dos oportunidades. Yo siempre la tomo como a las 8 y 5, 8 y 10. ¿verdad? Hacemos alguna, algún preview de la clase. También siempre espero unos 3, 4 minutos antes de iniciar. Me conecto y ustedes van a ver la pantalla ahí en azul. Y luego pues inicio la clase. Entonces para esperar si alguien le agarra tanto. Pues, eh, iniciamos con algo de la plataforma o algún... A, a, algo que hablemos y luego paso la asistencia y luego continuamos, ¿ok? Eh, a veces pues van a ver que estoy allí eh, en, dos, en dos sesiones, pero eso es porque vengo desde San Salvador, yo vivo en Santa Ana y a veces vengo todavía manejando, pero siempre me voy a conectar, aunque venga manejando, siempre me voy a conectar, no hay problema. ¿Ok? Se tomará como válida el escuchar participante decir present. Puede decir here, present, whatever, ¿ok? That is not okay. Si no le sirve el micrófono por alguna razón en alguna clase, lo pone en el chat. ¿verdad? Igual yo estoy pendiente de quiénes estamos. Quién está. Al final de cada sesión, recordemos que tenemos, creo que ustedes ya lo saben, sesiones one on one para, para practicar, para ver si hay alguna pregunta. Yo le voy a ir diciendo que siempre es el orden de lista ¿verdad? en la que se va poniendo el one on one. Son 10 minutos que podemos utilizar para la clase. ¿Ok? Permisos no hay. Yo sé que muchos de repente le escriben a uno, mire, fíjese que ahora no voy a poder. Yo en el chat le voy a decir que sí. Ah, ok, no hay problema. Pero Insafor no da permisos. No hay permisos. O sea que si usted un día no se mete a la clase y le dicen, mira, vamos a quitar la beca porque usted no estuvo lo suficiente, entonces usted puede decir, pero yo avisé. Ah, pero pues, si pide la clase siempre se le dice, mire, no hay permiso. No existe eso. Entonces, por eso les recomendaba que aunque tengan alguna emergencia, algo por el estilo, que se conecten a la clase. Aunque no puedan participar, que se conecten. Y eso, pues ya, aunque no digan presente, cuando yo diga, ya va a salir ahí que ustedes tuvieron la clase. No lo probo. Como les digo, ellos pueden ver todo eso ahí. Uh, do you have any questions about this? Uh, yes, the group is in the chat. It is not already yet. Eh, ya está listo, sí. Eh, ¿cómo puedo hacer? Ya vamos a ver si lo puedo enviar acá. Que no tengo el chat en la computadora. Pero sí, ya está. Ya hay, hay varios que están ahí. Ya mandé, de hecho, el libro ahí el grupo. Entonces, eh, en, el, en el correo que usted recibió de las clases, no está el link ahí para que usted lo pueda ver. Eh, no, I don't receive uh, an email using the WhatsApp. Mm, ok. Sí, porque el correo lo mandan siempre. Bueno, ya lo voy a poner por acá, por el grupo. Ya voy a ver cómo me, me lo veo ahora. Para que ustedes lo puedan. Cualquiera se puede unir y voy a mandar el link. O si alguien lo tiene, lo voy a mandar al chat de acá de, de Zoom para que la compañera lo tenga. That will be amazing. Ok. Uh, any other question? No, no questions. Thank you. Good. Very good. Ok. Eh, reforzando en la parte de Zoom, el motor de mute cuando no estemos participando. Otra vez, ¿verdad? la cámara tiene que estar encendida. Y ahí inglés corporativo ya no puede hacer nada. ¿verdad? Si viene una auditoría, que hacen siempre unas cinco, siete clases uh, por cada periodo y no está en la cámara encendida por, digamos, cinco minutos, ellos les quitan la beca. O sea que no hay nada. Eh, el chat también se puede utilizar ¿verdad? para preguntas hay algunos ejercicios que son de escritura que les voy a pedir que se metan o que, que pongan allí en el chat lo, uh, lo que se está pidiendo 
Um, y eh, también ¿verdad? pueden levantar la mano para preguntar, para ayuda. Los breakout rooms, yo sé que ustedes los usan, aunque yo no los uso mucho, me gusta más una clase un poco más dinámica. ¿verdad? A mí me gusta que hablemos, que platiquemos, que a eso venimos, ¿verdad? A hablar. No tenga miedo si se equivoca, o sea, eso pasa, ¿verdad? De, de hecho, los amigos a veces se equivocan, a los que no hablan más que inglés, ellos se equivocan también, es de que no tengan miedo de equivocarse, porque de eso se trata, de ir corrigiendo y de ir practicando, ¿ok? Respeto ante todo, la, la, las opiniones de todos los compañeros son válidas, y pues los podemos escuchar, pero también hay que eh, tener un poco de eh, igual podemos hacer bromas, chistes de agua. Ah, ya está ahí el, el chat. Very good, thank you, Vanessa. ¿Cuál? ¿Cuál tomas? Ok. Very good. So, uh, we're going to start. Uh, we're going to check something very quickly. Entonces, lo primero que vamos a hacer es pasar la asistencia. ¿Verdad? Permítanme. Ok, here we go. Uh, Holman Saúl Girón Sánchez. Present. Good. José Alberto Baños Hernández. Present. Good. Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Not here. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Not here. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Good. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Not here. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present. Ah, okay, present. Good. Kenya Cecilia Ruiz Moran. Present. Good. Daniel Antonio Luna. Not here. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Not here. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present teacher. Good. Iván Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present teacher. Good. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Good. Erika Yasmín Martínez Carpio. Present. Good. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Good. Zulma Janet Ramírez Avalos. Present. Good. Herman Alexander Durán Linares. Not here. Nelson Antonio Herodas Rosales. Present. Good. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present. Good. Good, good. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present. Good. David Alexander Rodríguez Sánchez. Present, teacher. Good. ¿Hay alguna persona que no haya mencionado? Sí, sure. Héctor Morales, just connect now. Ah, okay. Very good. Yes. Very good. Nice. Perfect. Thank you. Ok, uh, sí, solo para recordarles, ¿verdad? La cámara encendida. Recordarles también que siempre espero 3, 4 minutos antes de iniciar la clase, pero siempre me conecto unos 5 minutos antes. Um, y hay que participar, ¿ok? So, now what we're going to do is we're going to start by... Uh, introducing ourselves so this is the first class i don't know if you were together before but uh, i don't know you so we're going to introduce ourselves i will be first okay 
Hello, everybody. My name is Eric Asensio. I live in Santa Ana. I, I really like to teach, but I'm not a teacher. I work for Google uh, during the day. And at night, I really enjoy teaching English and meet people here. I like music. I like to read. I like movies. I like to ride my motorbike. And uh, it's a pleasure to meet you. Nice. So let's listen now to David Alexander Rodriguez. Hello, people. Uh... I live in the world and and the community too. Okay, and your hobbies, uh, what do you do in your free time? Uh, I like the the watch the movie with my family. Okay, what kind of movies do you like? Is the but my my song is the children, but the action and the material for my work. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. Okay, now we're going to listen to uh, is Holman or Jolman? Hol Holman. Holman. Okay, very good. Please introduce yourself. Uh, <clears throat> good evening, everybody. It's a pleasure uh, to to be here today. Uh, well, uh, I am 20, 22 years old. Uh, I, 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 I love I love English, and uh, I love listening. Listen music and and now uh, new kinds of music, a lot of different kinds and and bands groups, uh, single artists, and in my free time I I practice skateboarding and I go out with my friends. Yeah. Yes, that. Okay, very good. So, uh, what is the meaning of Holman? Do you know? Huh? Yeah, what is the meaning of Holman? Uh, I, I don't know. I, I think it's, 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 it's from, uh, it is originally from Germany, I think. But I don't know what they mean. Okay, interesting. So this is something that we need to learn. Very good. Have you ever had an accident when you are skateboarding? Uh is 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 uh it's like it's always it's always always have a always you you uh you you get down uh, you, uh, and you uh, get get out and practice practice you you have to 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 uh to get out it's it's, it's difficult it's very difficult but i think i uh, never um uh, never uh uh serious or very very uh very dangerous dangerous uh accident okay very good Dang perfect yes 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 be careful on that one thank you very yeah. much nice to meet you yeah. okay let's listen now to fatima Denise. Hello, good night. My name is Fatima. Um, about my hobbies, I like uh, to dance in the gym. 
Uh, I like go to the beach and watch the movies in Netflix. Very good. What kind of movies do you like? I like um suspense. Uh, and, thrillers. Yes. And, and comedy comedies or or movies about love everything okay that is interesting very good thank you thank you for that Fatima thank you okay let's listen now to Daniel Archimedes okay good evening everybody uh, my name is Daniel Archivides Florentino. I'm working in John Juan International in Zona Franca International in Holoquilta. Uh, I'm living now in Soyapango. Uh, my favorite job is sleep. But sometimes I visit uh, some vision like, uh, like uh, let me see, La Libertad, Puerto de la Libertad. Uh, sometimes I go to the La Costa del Sol or El Tunco Beach. Uh, I love my the I love to eat uh, sea of food. Mm, when I have a free time and Sunday I go always go to the Puerto Cinema. Um I love it be see sorry a science fiction movie. Um, I, I live with my brothers in Sayapango. Uh, the I, I have a lot of friends. Uh, only that. Very good, thank you. I can see that you have a guitar. That do you play the guitar? <laughs> yes, sometimes when I have a celebration, for example, uh, my friends say. Invite me some uh, birthdays to celebrate a birthday. I play the uh, happy birthday, for example, and other things. I go, when I go to the church, I play to the guitar when I gospel music. Okay, very good, interesting. That is very nice. Maybe one day we can listen to you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't worry. Okay, perfect. Well, thank you. <laughs> Let's listen now to Erica Jasmine. Hello, good evening. Mm -hmm. It's a glad to meet you all of you guys. So, as the teacher says, my name is Erika Yasmin. Actually, I work in a call center. I'm a supervisor of account repay credit account. Um, what is I'm 28 years old. My favorite hobby for me is to do boxing because I do box. Um, and I love to read books actually. Um, what else? Hmm. I don't know. I love to learn languages, for example. I'm here because I love English actually right now. And I don't know. My vision for the future for me is to be, um, I don't know how to say it in English, but it's polyglota. To say, Poly love, I want yeah. to learn. I, yes, I want to learn more than three or four languages if it is possible. Mm-hmm. Amazing, I very good. <laughs> Perfect. What are your favorite books? My favorite books, actually, right now, there are uh, Maze Runner. It's kind of a future, dystopic future, kind of apocalypse, then the apocalypse is kind of like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, very good. Thank you for that. <laughs> nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay, let's see uh, Nelson Antonio. Good evening. Mm -hmm. My name is Nelson Antonio. I'm from Zacateco, Luca City. And I have not a lot of to say, but I my favorite hobby is to exercise or soccer play. I work in near Oloquita City. And sometimes I 
I see movie, my favorite movie are action. Maybe Jason Statham, Steven Seagal, uh, John Claude Van Damme, old, old movies. And, and also I like to listen to music, maybe ballad rock in English, in English. Only that teacher. Very good, very nice. What is your favorite soccer team? I don't have a favorite soccer team, just I I like to see soccer. Okay, very good. That is very nice. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's listen now to Jose Alberto Baños. Hi, good evening. Okay. Uh, I see that there are new placements. It is good to meet you. And the old classmates are good to see you again. Um, my name is Jose Alberto. I'm an industrial salesman for a paint manufacturing company. I'm 23 years old and I have two daughters. I live in Santa Ana. And um, what else? I'm a, a fan of the series. Um, and then uh, I'm fan for the volleyball too. That's all. Very good. So, do you play volleyball as well? Um, when I can, for the time. Okay, very good. That's very nice. Thank you very much. So let's check with Hector Francisco. Hello, teacher. Hello, everyone. Cool. Um, my name is, well, like you say, Hector Francisco Morales Rico. I'm, fr I'm from to San Salvador South, I think, now, uh, uh, Santiago de Chacuango City, close to the Olopuilta, if you don't know this, this uh, city, uh, town. I am a simple person, I think. I like... Uh, Mm, I like uh, music, different kind of music. I like um, different kind of food, but no seafood. Uh, only fish. I don't. Uh, maybe uh, crab. Uh, crab? No, no crab. Ah, I don't like. Um, I need. I want. I wish learn English because this, I think is very important for my work, for my de uh, development, my development, personal development. I, um, it's my pleasure to uh, have a same uh, partner like a last, last course uh, class. It's only teacher. It's nice to meet you. And I try to uh, put all my my mind for learn uh, English with you. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Pleasure. Okay, let's check um, Christian Alexander. Hello, good evening. Okay. My name is, is Christian Arevalo and I am from Santa Ana City too. Uh, my hobbies are uh, listen to music, just spend my time in my house, in my computer. I, 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 I love to stay at home all the time and just rest. <laughs> uh, I like to play the guitar. Uh, I, I, I know a, a little bit, just a little bit, but I, I like to, to practice and and listen to music in, in general. I, I love the uh, EDM music, uh, electronic music, uh, what else? Uh, and well, I am 25 years old and I am working as a process improvement in a logistic company. And I don't know, that's it. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you. Welcome. Then, very nice. Electronic music is very nice. Uh -huh. Thank you. 
Okay, let's listen now to Sulma Janet. Hello, uh, my name is Sulma Ramirez. I work in Ternova Group. Uh, during the week, I don't have much time uh, free, but I usually like to go to the gym at uh, three times at less during the week. Um, on weekends, I like to go, go out with friends, uh, maybe uh, listen music or or to the cinema. Or, or if I don't go out, I like to watch TV, maybe series or movies. Nice to hey. meet you. Nice to meet you. What kind of TV show do you like? What kind of series? Uh, I like Friends, um, Doctor House, um, I don't know, others. Uh, I have some series that like me. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Thanks. Okay. Let's listen now to Ivan Petrovich. Okay, good evening, partners. Uh, my name is Ivan Guzman. Um, I work in the I work in the finance area in my company. Uh, my favorite hobby is uh, practice cyclics. Um, in in free time, uh, teach uh, discipleship in my church. Okay. Um, that's it. Uh, go ahead. Okay. So, and uh, do you go out bicycle every every weekend or something like that? Excuse me. Do you always go bicycle uh, weekends? Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, usually, when the weekend, um, and Sunday. Okay. Very good. Very nice. Thank you. You're welcome. Let's check with Austin Alexis Flores. Good evening, everybody. Uh, my name is Lina Alexis Flores. I I like to watch TV and listen music. Um, I work actually in nearby uh, Palo Cuelta. Um, uh, my favorite job, uh, hobby is uh, watch movies. Um, my kind of of uh, movies, I prefer uh, science fiction. Um, it's nice to meet you, everybody. Perfect, nice to meet you. Uh, what is your favorite science fiction movie? Ah, uh, Marvel. Ah, oh, Marvel movies are very good. I really love those. Very good, perfect. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Let's check who's missing. Vanessa Mami, I guess you're missing. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello. teacher. My name is Vanessa. And I'm 26, 26 years old. I work in Iberplastic. It's a factory that makes um, brooms or cleaner cleaner articles. And in my free time, I like to make um, watch movies, old movies that Disney or Pixar cartoon movies like that. I like to to watch series on Netflix. I like to to listen music. And the last hobby that I get is solve puzzles. And I made a one puzzle and I want to buy another to 1,000 pieces to, to solve it. And that's it. Interesting, very good. How long does it take for you to finish a puzzle of a thousand pieces? I think I start like um, John, like three months because uh, I don't 
don't make it every day, only in my free time on weekends. So, but I think it's interesting and improve your patience, I think, or your mind. Yeah, you have to pay attention to details, yes. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. So let's check with Lucy and Natalie. Hi, everyone. Good evening. Yeah. My name is Lucy Natalie. You can call me Natalie. And I'm an astronaut engineer. I work um, at, right now in the um, project construction um, area. And one of my hobbies at the moment um, is doing exercise. Um, I wake up in the morning for running. And that is one of the things I love, actually and listen to music and trying to improve my English every day. Thank you. Very nice. What kind of music do you like? Um, it's like a um, rock alternative. Ah, <laughs> that, very nice. That, that is the best music. music. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Let's check with who's missing. Samantha Campos. Hi, good evening, everyone. Hey, my, my name is Samantha Campos. I'm 26 years old. I live in Santa Tecla and I work in at Claro Corporate. And I like to spend time with my family and friends and watch series. Okay, what kind of series do you watch? Um, like friends, the office, uh, Breaking Bad. Yeah, those are amazing. I really love all of those. Friends, the office is amazing. And Breaking I, Bad is I one of the best. It. Yes. <laughs> okay. Perfect. Thank you. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, who else is missing? Let's see. Uh, Kenya, Cecilia. Hi, good night. Hello. Well, my name is Kenya Cecilia Ruiz Moran. I work in, like auditor and I like do exercise, watch TV, listen music. I have a daughter that three years old. And that is all. What kind of music do you like? All kind. All kind. Paquita del Barrio. Everything. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. good. <laughs> Perfect. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I guess it's missing Carla Lorena. You finished? You did? I don't remember. I'm very bad with names. I don't Good night, everybody. Good evening. My name is Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Uh, I'm from San Salvador. I live in San Jacinto, San Salvador, but I work in San Miguel, and I work 11 days in a, in a row in San Miguel. And I rest three days in... I like to watch action and thriller series on Netflix. Uh, I like listener music, rock, uh, rock in English and in Spanish, classic rock in English and in Spanish. Uh, I work in a Japanese company dedicate to consulting and supervision of civil work. And I am architect, but I work as an administration, administrator manager. And I work in the construction of the San Miguel Bypass. It's all. Perfect. So it's kind of heavy, right? So you work 11 days and then rest three and then 11 other days. Yes. 
my and and on, on those three days that you are free you always come back to san salvador or you stay there no i come back to san salvador okay very good yeah it's kind of heavy, but that is nice okay welcome carla and uh i believe everybody made it right is anybody missing i don't think so Yeah, I guess everybody would be. So welcome to the class. This is amazing. Uh, question once again, everybody has access to the platform, right? Only Ivan doesn't have. The rest of the class, do you have access to the platform, right? Have you? Yes, sir. Very yes. good. Sure. Yes. Okay, so let's check a little bit about that one. This is the platform. I'm very sure that you know about that one. Remember that there are four sections, four units, and on each unit, we're going to see the video and then the homework, right? So this is the video for tonight because we are building that right now. And then tonight, we have to finish this exercise, okay? So you just need to come here and check what will be the, the solution for this, okay? So this is the class of tomorrow, and then we move on from that. And also remember, as I was telling you, uh, that on unit two, if we go, let's say here, if we go to unit two, it's going to be a little bit different because here in the intermediate and in the advanced level, we have two classes and then one homework. But that happens only in the, in the section number two. And also when we finish the section number two, we will have the midterm tests. So remember that for the midterm test, we have four parts, which is very important, okay? And that will be it. Good. Do you have questions for the platform? Also remember that here you can find the manual, but we send that already to the group on the chat. Uh, but anyways, you can download with the manual. Teacher. Yep. I think I joined late to the WhatsApp group. I don't have the the manual in 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 the group of WhatsApp. Okay, I'm going to send it back. Don't worry. Okay, thank you. Very good. Any other questions? No questions. Very good. So. I really like to speak and read a lot. I believe that in the readings, we find a lot of practice, very good practice. So you are going to read, practice pronunciation, find new vocabulary. It's a very nice thing. Uh, and also we're going to discuss some things, right? So that's what we're going to do. So uh, first class is provide details about a manager's responsibilities. So but the first question that I have for you is, what is management? Okay. Anybody wants to participate? What is management? Hello. Teacher? Yeah, go ahead. Hello. I'm oh, sorry. Oh. No, no, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Hector. Um, well, management is the coordination and administration of tasks to achieve a goal. Very good. Very interesting. So the administration of tasks so you can achieve a goal. Hector, you were going to say something? And the and the other concept, the management is a, a sol a resolution of the conflicts in the in the employees in the different areas in the company. Very good. That is a very important part of management. So you need to solve some conflict that might happen then in the in the company. Very nice. Any other opinion? Any other? Did you the person who have the knowledge 
for uh, drive the, the company to for the good way. It's in theory, <laughs> but uh, it's theoric. I think it's the person with the capacity for for make uh, any any worker um, good work. I don't know if you're understanding. Yeah, I think got... it's the management. Oh, very good. So that is it. So yeah, the manager is the one that make everybody do what they have to do so they can do a very good job. Yes, teacher. Perfect. Interesting. Uh, and uh, the next question says, what is good management and bad management? What is the difference between good management and bad management? What do you think? I think that a good management is when the person is responsible, know the, know the job that he has to make, and is a leader in, in to the other people. So they, the, the person has to be responsible and talk with the the other people to make the 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 task that they have to, to do, I think. Very good, very interesting. You mentioned some main, very important things, like communication, like leadership. So that is a very difficult thing. So uh, what is leadership? If we want to focus into that. In your own opinion, what is leadership? It's the kind of the leadership. Uh, for example, uh, it's a, there is a leadership uh, demo, democratic, paternalist, autocratic, something like that. Very good. So yeah, sometimes depending on the need, uh, you need different kinds of leadership. Right? So, very good. Uh, and uh, what about bad management? What are some characteristics of bad management? What do you think? Uh, lack, lack of communication with the co-workers. Very good. So that is something that happens sometimes. Uh, miscommunication or bad communication with people or other departments or things like that. So that definitely is bad management. Any other characteristics that you can think about bad management? No more, okay. Uh, do you manage a team or a department in your work? Yes. Very good. How was the experience? How do you feel by being the manager of a team? And I feel, I feel important and I feel good. But uh, you have uh, uh, most the most responsibility, so you 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 can you have to. Be a a good a uh, a good example uh, example. You have okay. to you have to be a good example to 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 other other people. Very good. So that is very important what you said. Yeah, you have power and responsibilities, and you have to be a good example. I mean, for example, uh, if you ask everybody to be punctual, I mean, you need to be punctual. Right? It's not possible that you, as the leader, are late to the meetings or anything. That's, that is perfect. What are uh, some characteristics of good money? We speak about already about leadership and good communication. What other Characteristics do you think a good manager has? Be kind, responsible, 
and the person inspires the other people. Very good. Yeah, responsible, and they have to inspire people, right? Because, I mean, uh, that is one of the main objectives to develop it. Uh, any other? Teacher, he or she must uh, must know the goal of the company or uh, the company because uh, he or she um, I will say direction, direction the work for uh, for the goal. Complete, uh, how do complete? Accomplish. Accomplish the goal. It's necessary to uh, know this 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 kind of the, um, mission, vision, the company, and the goal for the the they work and direction. All the 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 work, I I think. Okay, very good, perfect, very good characteristics. The ones that you have mentioned. So now, uh, we're gonna go and check about some other things here. So for example, management. What is management? Let's see. It's going to read Christian Alexander. Okay. Uh, management. Is how business organizes and direct workflow operation organized. organized and direct workflow operation and employees to meet company goals. The primary goal of the ma of management is to create an environment that lets employees work efficiently and productively. A solid organizational structure serve serves 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 as a guide a guide for workers and establish the tone of the establishes the tone of the focus in their work very good so uh, what did you understand on this little way question In your own words. Teacher, I'm sorry, but I don't know what workflow means. Ah, very good. We're going to check vocabulary. That's very good. So first, we're going to listen to Christian. Christian, what did you understand in your own words about this little paragraph? Yes. Is the way that uh, the organization of or the company uh, organized? the the things in the company for example the structure of the company the activities of the operation the workflow or how do you how you can do the things the process of the activities uh, uh, the objective also is uh, to present to all the organization or to all of the employees, the goals for each one and for the all of the company. And that's, that's my opinion. Very good. Actually, that was a very good uh, opinion. Very nice. So I'm going to read that again. Uh, pronunciation was very good for Chris, but just for you to check, okay? Management is how businesses organize and direct workflow operations and employees to meet company goals. The primary goal of management is to create an environment that lets employees work efficiently and productively. A solid organizational structure serves as a guide for workers and establishes tone and focus on their work. So, uh, there are some words here that are key and that we're going to check on now. So, workflow. Uh, when we check the vocabulary, I'm going to ask you, what is the word? And then if somebody knows, you can tell me in English. Okay, try to explain the English. If nobody knows, then I'm going to tell you that. Okay. So anybody knows what is workflow? I don't know, Pigeon. Nobody, okay? Is uh, I, like I, a... I searched the sorry, I searched the 
the words in my dictionary and workflows say the sequence of steps involved in moving from the beginning to the end of working process. Perfect. Something like that was a workflow. Workflow is like the procedure that you follow from the very beginning until the very end of a, of a process. So for example, if you are building a house, uh, the workflow will be to to uh, to think about the design, to create the design, to to check for the prices of the materials, and so on until you finish. That. So that is like a workflow. Good. Let's see any other word operations, please. Uh, goals. What is goals? I know that you know that. It's like a. Uh... Objective or vision. Very good. It's like an, uh, an object, something that you want to achieve, right? That is the goal. So the primary goal of management is to create an environment. What is environment? Maybe it's a... Go ahead, go ahead, no worries. <laughs> okay. In this okay. case, I think it's the place that the employees works. Work. It could be something like that one. Yeah, the environment is everything that surrounds you, right? Everything that is around you. Uh, efficiently, I know that you know what is efficient. Um, product, uh, what is a guide? Could be a manual, or in that context is the way or a step to mm -hmm. walk. Very good. Yeah, like the steps for somebody to do a task, an activity, anything like that. Uh, this says and establishes the tone of focus. I believe that there is. A, do you have any question? Any other question? No vocabulary here. How, how do you pronounce a uh, productively or productively, productively? Yeah, productive. 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 Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, let's go to the next one. Uh, okay, so this is going to be for Ivan Petrovich. Hey, your name is a Rusky name. Nice. <laughs> thank you, teacher. Okay. Uh, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Managers are involvement in implementing and evaluating these structures. As a manager, you may be responsible for doing any of the following tasks: create goals and objectives, create a schedule, schedule. A strategy. Excuse me. Schedules. Schedule. Thank you. Develop strategies to increase performance productively and eff efficiency. It's a pro good pronunciation. Efficiency. Uh, efficiency. Eff uh, efficiencies. Um, ensures compliance with company policies. Complaints. Compliance. Complaints. Thank you. Compliance with company policies and industry regulations. Mentor employees, monitor budget, productivity levels and performance, resolve customer problems, train staff. Perfect. In your own words, what did you understand, Petrovich? Um, excuse me? In your own words, what did you understand about what you read? Okay. Um, is a is a read uh, that the the skills or activities uh, the management uh, should be um, used in your job. For example, monitor budget is a uh, is activity the finance the uh, uh, finance management uh, the budget the different the different costs. Or uh, 
uh, and the other the activities, productive labels. Uh, the how do you say, Medir? Mention. Mention uh, the productively in different areas, for example, productions and um, uh, taxi. Ah, and resolve customer problems is a uh, is uh, the other activity. For example, management the sales is uh, is the is the day a day. It's a day a day resolve problems. And the other is the activity training staff is the is necessary is the most important the, the management training staff uh, because as uh, uh, better better uh, productively in the in your in your the persons. Very good. Person, so, excuse me. Yeah, all the uh, activities are right. So yeah. To be a manager is not easy. Sometimes, I mean, there are a lot. So let's check about that one. It says, managers are involved in implementing and evaluating these structures. As a manager, you may be responsible. Remember the pronunciation of this one is responsible for doing any of the following tasks. So what is a task, anybody? An activity? Something like an activity. It's a thing that you have to make. Yeah, things that you have to, to do, right? Some homeworks or things that you have to do in your job. Very good. Okay, uh, create goals and objectives. Aha, uh -huh. there are two different things, goals and objectives. What is the main difference between a goal and an objective, my friends? Okay, so the main difference is that a goal is quantitative. So that means that you can set a number, okay, to achieve 100% of something or to have uh, 1,000 cells a day. Or and the objective is qualitative. So to be better, to improve, to, I don't know, to handle things. So that is the main difference, okay? Create schedules. What is schedule? When someone organizes the time? It's a period of the time when you need to solve as a different words, different homeworks. Very good. So that is it. It's very good time. You organize when you have different tasks and you, uh, in that period of time, you need to finish this task. Good. Develop strategies to increase performance, productivity, and efficiency. And what is performance? Performance. Okay, the performance For is the... Deep. Go ahead, go ahead. Performance is when you do one activity is um some some someone qualificate who was your you developing that activity. Very good. So that is it. Is the way that you actually do some activities, right? Is the performance. So it's related to work, it's related to when you are acting as an actor or when you are playing an, an instrument. So it's the performance, the way that you develop those activities. Nice. Uh, ensure, what is to ensure? Nobody, okay, ensure is like to be sure. 
you as a manager, you are going to be sure that certain activities, certain tasks are going to be done. So that's why it says compliance. Compliance is that, that you have a list of tasks and you check everything that is done, finished, successful, of course. So that is compliance. So ensure compliance means that you have to be sure that all the activities are done properly. And this is with company policies. What is a policy? It could be some rules that your company have. Very good. A policy is like, yeah, like a set of rules that a company has regarding a procedural process. Very good. Mentor employees. What is to mentor? Anybody knows? Like okay, yeah, Cons counseling is like mentoring, is like uh, coaching, like teaching the way that you have some good. Then it says monitor budgets. What is a budget? I don't know if I'm grown. But I think it's uh, to organize the money, I think. I don't know how to say it, but it's like, yes, like that. How you're going to spend in that activity or how you're going to spend the money for the first three months of the year. I don't know if that is. That is it. So, yeah, but it is like, uh, to organize the money in a way that everything that has to be done is achievable. Then it says, well, productivity levels and uh, performance. Resolve customer problems and train staff. So you know what's that one, right? Do you have any questions before we move on? And what is train staff? It's okay. like control the person. Like you know, train staff is like, for example, when you are new in a job, they train you. There is a trainer that the comes. training. <laughs> exactly. Oh, okay. That is it. Yeah. Good. Any other question? No more. Okay. Uh, okay. It's going to read this one, Erica. Okay, it says, key function of a manager. Managers have several functions within an organization. You usually see this function divide or divide into divide. four interconnected groups. Understanding them can help you identify your strengths. Yeah, strengths? Yeah. Okay, strengths and areas of need to choose the proper training to improve your skills. That one or the next one too? Uh, that one that is fine, okay? So okay. what did you understand on that one? <laughs> okay, it's like, uh, like it said, it's the key, uh, I, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> it's the key of the manager. You just have to help uh, identify where are you doing not a good job or where or when are doing a good job? That's it. Just to find the bad and the good things and try to or just clean it or erase it or, in, or increase the, the good things that you are doing with your team or with your work. Okay. So mm -hmm. that is it. Though. There are different... I mean, the manager, they do a lot of it, but there are some things that are more important, right? Uh, they need to function. So let's say, uh, let's check some words. Uh, key functions of a manager. So key is that one. Key are essential. Things that are, like, more relevant. And this is managers have several functions. What is several? Anybody? Many, like many more. A lot of. A lot of things, several things. More. That is it, several. There is like a lot of many 
functions within an organization. Within, what is within? I don't know. Okay, this is a like very... in, in a company, like inside like in, a, in a in an organization institution. Very good, something like that. It's like inside. This is a very important word because uh in English we have a lot of preposition. This is a preposition. The problem is that in Spanish we have just a few. Uh, but in English, depending on the way that you use the preposition, the other person are going to understand those words that way. So within is one of those. So for example, uh, when you uh, go to an interview, some people, they say, I want to grow between the company or in the company. And it's not correct. The preposition that you are going to use there is within. I want to grow within the company. So within is a preposition that is like inside but it's like in a structure, okay? It's not, I mean, the difference between inside and within is that inside is when you are outside of your house and you go inside. But within is inside of the house or maybe in the first floor or the second floor or the fifth floor. So it's like a more complex structure. So prepositions in English are very important because if you say something incorrect, only one word that is incorrect to an American person or a person that speaks only English, they don't understand. They are lost. Okay, the same happens with other prepositions. For example, uh, one of the most common is at or in, right? So you say, uh, imagine that I come to you and I say, uh, hey, your mom is at the hospital. If I say your mom is at the hospital, what I'm saying is that your mom is visiting or doing something at the hospital. But if I say, hey, your mom is in the hospital, what I'm saying is that your mom had an accident or something wrong and that she she's being attended by a, a, a doctor. Something wrong happened. So imagine this. It's not the same to say your mom is at the hospital, then your mom is in the hospital. Both are correct, but you are saying something different. So prepositions are very, very important, okay? So is it clear about within? Yes, teacher, it's clear. Yes. Very so teacher, I can say I'm within my house. No, not in your house, because uh, within is more for the structure. I mean, that's why we use within for a business, because in the business you have the human resources department, you have the uh, uh, accounting department, so you can go within different departments. So it's like a structure. Uh, for the house, it's more inside or on the first floor or on the second floor. That will be the most common. Okay. okay. Good. Okay, then it says you'll usually see these functions divided into four interconnected groups. Understanding them can help you identify your strengths. What are the strengths? It's like abilities. Like abilities, something that you are very good at, right? Yes. Nice. Let's see, uh, an area of need to choose the proper training to improve your skills. What is to improve? The, make the things better. Be better. Very good. To improve something is like make things better. And uh, your skills, what is skills? Abilities. Abilities, very good. When you have the abilities and something. And let's read the other one. Let's see. Uh, uh, Vanessa, Noemi, can you please help me with the planning? Okay, planning. The first function of a manager is to set goals. 
These goals may be for individual employees, departments, or the entire, entire organization, depending on the manager's label of responsibility. In addition to setting goals, managers often develop actions items along with strategies and resources to complete tasks and meet goals. Hey, in your own words, what did you understand? I think the manager had to create uh, some plans to, to, to make all the, the tasks that they, they have to accomplish. So they have to create uh, maybe the steps or the schedule to reach all the goals that the, the boss the boss and uh, decide to, to complete, I think. Very good, perfect. So that is the first one, right? Planning is very important. What do I want to achieve? What are the goals of the company, the objectives? Where am I right now? So what are the steps for me to go through that? Let's check some words. It says planning. The first function of a manager is to set goals. What is set? In in this case, it's like to create or or yes, like create goals. Very good. Is to put something there, right? To to set up to set goals. Very good. These goals may be for individual employees, departments, or the entire organization, depending on the manager's level of responsibility. In addition to setting goals, managers often develop action items. What is to develop? To create, I think, uh, and explain step step by step what uh, you need to do the something, I think. Perfect, very good. So develop is like that. You have a goal and you have a plan, but you go one by one, step by step, and you, I mean, every step has different levels, right? You give feedback, many things. Uh, and action items, along. What is along? It's like together. Together, very good. So this is another preposition that is also very particular, you know? Along is when you are moving along with somebody, next to it, but in movement. So that is it. It's not only next to it, because next to it is when you don't move. To go along with somebody or to a person is like to go next to each other in movement. So that will be. With strategies and resources, to complete tasks and be goals. Do you have any questions on these paragraphs? Any other questions? You can ask about the meaning of a word or pronunciation, anything that you may want. No questions, clear as or chata. So let's go to the next, organizing. <laughs> Let's see here. Uh, it's going to be for uh, Fatima Denise, please. Organizing. Meeting organizational goals requires putting the right people in the right places. Managers can play an important role in choosing workers for position and projects. Knowing how to group people and help them build relationships often significantly affects how well the group works together. Sometimes manager, managers need to train employees for a specific task to ensure they have the knowledge and skills they need to, sus to succeed. Sus that's it. Okay, what did you understand in your own words?
Uh, so, Denise, what did you understand? Uh, I think uh, the paragraph say is the important the manager uh, choose the correct people for for work in the different places uh, into the organization um, about the abilities and um, and profession the people to choose. Okay, very good, perfect. Thank you for your insights. So let's check about that organizing. Meeting organizational goals requires putting the right people in the right places. Myers can play an important role in choosing workers for position of projects, knowing how to group people and help them build relationships. Uh, okay, what is to build? Construct. It's like to create. Okay, uh, create. Construct. Yes. Perfect. Very good. Uh, relationships often significantly affects how well the group works together. Sometimes managers need to train employees for specific tasks to ensure they have the knowledge and skills they need to succeed. What is to succeed? Is accomplish some goal? Very good to be successful, right? To accomplish something satisfactory. Very nice. Do you have any questions here? How do you pronounce significant? Significantly. Like that, significantly. Significantly. Yeah, significantly. Right? Okay. Thank you. Good. Any other question? Yes, I have another one. At the beginning, it says meeting organizational goals. It is requires or requires. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? No. Okay. Nice. Let's move on then. Motivating. Ah, this is an important one. So this is going to be for, let's see, Holman Saul. Hi, hi. Go. Um, <clears throat> managers helps motivate employees to show up to show up and stay productive. This includes sharing and common vision, encouraging, encouraging, encouraging them to development their strength and inspiring, 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 and inspiring them to do their best work at all times. Having effective communication skills is essential for filling this role. 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 Okay, uh, what did you understand? Your own words. Uh, I think, well, for me, is uh, the managers uh, is a, a very important person to the to the employees because it's the motivation to 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 have a good a good good things good work uh it's a 
how to be a, a good a good a good example to follow to have to be good attitude have to it's important for it's fun it's fun it's important for the uh employees for motivate for uh for um, obtain obtain for for the different uh dreams dreams and and things to finish very good so yeah this is one of the most important things and it's not that easy right motivating is is very, very important so let's check it says managers help motivate employees to show up and stay productive uh, this includes sharing a common vision what is sharing Is give can. give something to another person. Some like that one, right? To share, you share something from you to the other. Okay, uh, sharing a common vision, encouraging. What is encouraging? Motivating. That is actually motivating when you say you can do this, right? You are very good. You are so that is encouraging. Encouraging them to develop their strengths and inspire them to do their best work at all times. Having effective communication skills is essential for filling this role. Feeling, what is feeling? Complete. To Our complete. Own. Very good. So that is it. So complete. Uh, that will be it. Anybody has any question about this? Show up? What what means? Uh, show up is like to come to work and do their jobs. That would be so. Remember that one of the most common situations that happen when people are not motivated is that they quit their job. They go to other companies. So you need them to come to to the company, right? To come to work, to show up. Any other question? Okay, it's a very uh, good word here, this one, inspire. So I believe that this is not only for managers, but for anybody. The question here for you is, do you believe that you inspire other people? What do you think? your own opinion do you inspire other people at home in your job with your friends what do you think in in my case i think that is that it's possible that i am inspiring something on someone more mm -hmm. very good uh, uh -huh. Teacher, go ahead. It's possible is uh, motivate or inspire with the, with my word, my voice. Say, hey, come on, hey, go, hey, do, hey. I don't know, but it's possible. Uh, do do it. Uh, do do it. Do it. The work, like uh, uh it's necessary. Uh, make the report. Uh, I start to make the report. Uh, with this, uh, I can motivate. The start is starting. Mm -hmm. uh, starting. The work is possible in my in my work in my home. It's possible too. With my child, uh, I can say, "Hey, come on! It's necessary to uh, organize organize the room." But is is possible? Uh, start to work. I uh, I think. Any people uh, can motivate or 
uh, different different people, but it's necessary to have the energy, positive energy for motivating. If I don't have a uh, positive energy, energy positive, I cannot motivate nothing. I maybe have a lot of study, I have a lot of uh, knowledge, but if I don't have energy, uh, maybe not. It's my, I, I think. Very good. That is so true. You need to be fine first. You need to be, to have the knowledge, to know the people, so you can inspire others. Nice. Okay, let's move on. Uh, evaluating is another part. Uh, let's see, Samantha. Uh, managers typically spend time measuring the success of their teams and how well they meet goals. The more they understand what works and doesn't work, the better prepared they are to make decisions in the future. Managers must understand and just adjust the strategies to meet company goals. Good, what did you understand on that one? I think it's important to evaluate at the end of the period and to know if the if the things we do uh, are correct or maybe need to change some things to to do, I think. Very good, perfect. So let's check about that one. It says evaluating. Managers typically spend time measuring the success. What is measuring? Do you remember? We use that word today. To measure. It's like Maybe. something. I'm sorry? It's like check, check something. Okay, yeah, it's like check something. That would be. Yeah, it's when you measure something is good or not. Measure is uh, a synonym of evaluate. Uh, the success of their teams and how well they meet goals. Uh, they meet goals. I believe that you understand that one. They achieve goals. The more they understand what works and doesn't work, the better peer they are to make decisions in the future. Myers must understand and adjust strategies to meet company goals. What is must? You don't have option. You need make. You must make. <laughs> it's imperative, yeah. I think. Exactly. You have, so, to. you have to. It's an obligation. So they, the managers are obligated to understand and adjust the strategies to meet company goals, right? Because they are the leaders. Of this. So it's a very important part this one. Evaluate. Okay. Uh, before we move on, this one we're going to check about the book. Go there. Check about the book. I believe that you have the book already. And on anyways, I will send that one tomorrow. You can, as I was telling you, you can have the book printed or you can have the book there in the uh digital format. So this is the book for the intermediate six. After this one, remember that you are going to go to the advanced, that is going to be more fluency, more things to do. So um uh, the name of the first unit, as we check that one, is management. It says, I will be able to describe the main tasks and responsibilities of a manager within a company. And in the number one says, let's start. Would you like to become a manager? What do you think? Would you like to become the top manager of a company or anything like that? No. In my case, I think no, teacher. I think it's a very big responsibility. A lot of responsibility is a little bit stressful, but not people can apply for be manager. 
do you need to be prepared for that? So true. So yes, it's a, a lot of responsibilities, um, a lot of work sometimes. I mean, managers are the ones that finish work at 8 p.m. sometimes. Uh, sometimes they have to work on, on Saturdays, Sundays, holidays. There is no time off, right? Money is good. And that is the main motivation, right? But yeah, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of things. And what somebody said that is important. I mean, you need to be ready. If you want to someday become a manager, then you need to be prepared on that one. You have to have the knowledge, uh, some experience, and of course, the attitude, right? How do you tell if you are ready to take on the responsibilities of a manager? We just say that one, right? So there are many things that you have to accomplish. You have to have the knowledge, be prepared, uh, kind of experience. Other things, for example, you have to, to be organized, right? You have to uh, to manage people, to have people skills, because maybe you have all the knowledge, but if you cannot uh, treat people well, it's not going to happen. All right, so uh, here is the first conversation of the book. Um, as usual, I believe that you do this very, uh, in this way, uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to practice in, in pairs. Okay. First thing that I'm going to do is to, to read the conversation. So you can check the pronunciation of the words. Then you are going to say the words. You're going to practice with a partner. And then we're going to check any vocabulary words that we have to. Okay. It says, Tom is a new manager at Benson's Furniture Store. Robert, his boss, is not happy about sales. Take turns practicing the conversation with a partner. So the conversation is like this. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition. Seconds for its store. Unbelievable. Things there are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale assistants so they do a better job. That may help. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, Organize things better and get resolved this month or you'll get demoted, Tom. Oh, my goodness. That's not good. Okay. Do you have any pronunciation questions before we practice? Teacher, huh? could you repeat furniture, please? Furniture. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other pronunciation question? Unbelievable. This is the right word. Yeah, that is it. Unbelievable. 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 Okay. How do you say implementing? Implementing. Implementing. Implementing, yeah. Okay. And advertising campaign. Advertising campaign. Any other? Yes, just a question. Demote, it's uh -huh, like demote. what? Fire, uh, remove. Yeah, vocabulary is going to be after we practice, okay? Yeah. Pronunciation that way is demoted. Okay, let's practice then. So let's see, uh, Vanessa and Hector, you are the first ones to practice. Okay, I'm Robert. Okay. Okay. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. So again, Robert. Yes. Even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competition, Sagan's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things there aren't too expensive. I will evaluate our current plan, 
implement a new advertising campaign and monitor our front sale assistance to, to, so they do the better job that may help? Yes, I wanted to tell you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I trod, I will, I will make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get the result this month or you'll get demoted. Demoted. Perfect, very good, nice. Now let's go with Erica and uh, David Alexander. Okay, David, who would you like to be? Okay. Robert okay. or Tom? Uh, whatever. Whatever, okay. I'm going to be Robert. Okay. Yes, okay. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again uh, last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new change. People are shopping at our competition, Sagan's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. 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 Mm -hmm. Things there are too expensive. I will evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, mm -hmm. and, and monitor our front sale assistance so they do a better job that might help yes i want to talk to you about that your current advertising campaign is a mess i'm sorry to hear that i i thought it okay. will make our sales go up sales well organize things better and get results this month or you'll get the the demoted, demoted? <laughs> the moment of <laughs> Tom. <laughs> okay, very good. <laughs> <Sorry>. Nice. <laughs> so now it's going to be Christian and Ivan. Okay. I'm Robert. Okay. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Uh, you are muted, Ivan. Okay. So sorry. So sorry. Go ahead. Okay, down again, Robert. Yes, even after implementing the new chains, people are shopping at our co competition, Science Furniture Store. Unbelievable, these there are too expensive. I evaluated our current plans, implement a new advertising campaigns, and monitor our from cell assistance so they do the better job that may help. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current ad advertising campaign is a mess. I am sorry to hear that. I thought, uh, what is the pronunciation of the words? This word, I threw? I thought. Found. Thought. Found. I thought I would make or sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month, or you will get the motor tone. Very good, nice. Now, Fatima and Samantha. Um, I'm start. Okay. I hate to tell you this, Tom. But our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new change, people are shopping at our competition, Sagan's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things are too expensive. I evaluate our current plan. Implement a new advertising campaign and monitor or front sale assistance so they do a better job. That may help. Yes, I want to talk to you about that. 
Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month or you'll get the more the more Tom. Well, good, nice. Now, Daniel, let me this and Nelson. Okay, Nelson. Okay, I will be Robert. Okay. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Now again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing two new chains, people are shopping at our competition, Saga's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things that are too expensive. I evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sales assistant. So they do a better job. That may help. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it will make our sales go up. Well, organize theme better and get results this month or you will get the return. Very good, nice. Now, Sulma, Jeanette, and Jose Alberto. Okay. Uh, I will be right. Okay. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes. Even after implementing the new change, people are shopping at our competitions, uh, Sagan's Furniture Store. Unbelievable. Things that are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale assistance so they do a better job. They might help. Yes, I want to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it would make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results this month or you'll get demoted. You'll get demoted, Tom. Good, very nice. Now, Holman and Osvin Alexis. Okay. Um, Robert, okay. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new change, people are shopping at our competition, Sagan's furniture store. Unbelievable. Things that are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan implement a new advertising campaign, monitor our from cell assist so they do a better job than my, my job. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I told it will make our sales sales better up. Well, organize things better and get results this month or you get the moderate thumb. Good. Now Carla, Lorena and Jamie Raquel. Okay. I am Robert. Okay. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down against last month. Sorry, sorry, my face is bad. It's raining. <laughs> sorry. Okay, okay. 
No worries. Please continue. Huh? Yes, even after implementing the new change, people are shopping at our competition, Sagan's Furniture Store. Uh, is it possible for you to continue, Jamie? Yeah, I guess it's not possible. For her. Okay, so it's going to continue helping you out, uh, Manuel Escamilla. Hello, Manuel. Hello. Okay. Yeah. Uh -huh. Robert. Uh, okay, you can stop, yeah. I hate to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new chains, people are shopping at our competition. Segan's furniture store. Unbelievable, unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Uh, unbelievable. Sí. Unbelievable. And I can't. Unbelievable, unbelievable, unbelievable. Unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> unbelievable. Since there are two expenses, I evaluate the current plan or current plan. Implement a new advertising campaign and monitor or from say assistants so they do a better job that may help. Yes, I wanted to tell to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I am sorry to hear that. I thought I would make her sales go up. Well, organizers, think better and get resolved this month, or you get the mo the mo the motor time. Okay, very nice. Now Lucy, Natalie, and Kenya, Cecilia. Okay, I will be Robert. Okay. I had to tell you this, Tom, but our sales were down again last month. Down again, Robert? Yes, even after implementing the new changes, people are shopping at our competitions, second furniture store. Unbelievable. Things there are too expensive. I'll evaluate our current plan, implement a new advertising campaign, and monitor our front sale assistant so they do better job. That may help. Yes, I wanted to talk to you about that. Your current advertising campaign is a mess. I'm sorry to hear that. I thought it will make our sales go up. Well, organize things better and get results that this month and you'll get the motor, the motor tone. Very good, nice. Is there anybody missing? I believe we did it, everybody, right? Okay, okay. So let's check some vocabulary. Uh, I hate to tell you, let's see. When it says we're down, okay, that is like, uh, not good, right? So they expect to sell more, but they were not good. Uh, you know what is implementing, right? What is implementing? Do something for be better or have a better result. Very good. That is it. Uh, what is furniture? It's like a table, a desk, and another things. Perfect. That is it. What is unbelievable? Check the pronunciation. Unbelievable. So, what is that? Something that is incredible. Incredible. I don't awesome. believe it. So, like amazing. Amazing. Yeah. Very good. 
What is current? The actual? The actual one. Yes, moment. Nice. What is, let's see. Well, let's go to this one. The motive. The motive is the opposite of promoted. So when you get promoted, you go to a better position and you went demoted, you go back to other position. Very good. So tomorrow we're going to do the exercises here based on that one, okay? Because you can see time flies and we just finish. So let me check the attendance. But before we check into that one, uh, do you have any questions about the class of tonight? Oh, teacher, I don't sure. have a question. It's All a clear, teacher. Thank you. All right. Nice. So let's check the um, attendance then. Holman Saul Giron Sanchez. Present. Good. Jose Alberto Baños Hernandez. Present. Good. Uh, Jamie Raquel Escobar Alfaro. Present. Good. Carla Lorena Leiva Contreras. Present, teacher. Good. Vanessa Noemi Reyes Lemos. Present. Good. Héctor Francisco Morales Rico. Present, teacher. Good. Christian Alexander Arevalo Delgado. Present, teacher. Good. Kenya Cecilia Ruiz Morán. Present, know. teacher. Good. Daniel Antonio Luna. Manuel Antonio Escamilla Jurado. Present, teacher. Good. Fátima Denise Aguilar Márquez. Present, teacher. Good. Ivan Petrovich Guzmán Aquino. Present, teacher. Good. Lucy Natalie Juárez de Ramírez. Present. Good. Erika Yasmín Martínez Carpio. Present. Good. Samantha Marisol Campos Flamenco. Present. Good. Zulma Janet Ramirez Avalos. Present. Good. Herman Alexander Duran Linares. Nelson Antonio Errodas Rosales. Present. Good. Daniel Arquímedes Florentino García. Present. Good. Osvin Alexis Flores Hernández. Present. Good. David Alexander Rodriguez Sanchez. Present teacher. Good. The 101 of tonight is for Holman Saul. For the rest, see you tomorrow. It was a pleasure to be with you tonight. Nice to meet you. And it's going to be a very nice thing. So the rest very well and see you tomorrow. Thank you, teacher. Thank Have you. Good night, everyone. Bye. 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 Thank you. Nice night. Hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. I am I am tired, but I am okay because I come back to the to the class closet. Very good. So yeah, that is very nice. Uh, how long have you had uh without the classes? Like a month or something like that? Around Two months. Oh, that is a lot. Two weeks, two weeks. Around. Oh, two weeks. Around, around. I don't remember very well. Mm, two weeks is fine. Yeah, that is like the normal. Very good. So uh, do you have any question for the class or for previous topics that you want to check? Uh, no, it's, uh, it's difficult for me because I think there, there is a lot of different topics and it's difficult for me to uh, know, I'll meet and learn lot, all, all topics. It's, I am, it's difficult because I finish a uh, uh, Finish a model, model. Module, huh? Finish a model, and I, I don't, I can't, and uh, I can't uh, learn all topics. 
and I have to to do a a review, but I I I I I do a review of the topics and then uh, uh, begin a uh, start a new mobile. So it's I I want I I want I want I wanna I want to 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 learn very well because I I like the 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 language but it's difficult. It's yeah difficult. I understand. Uh the only thing that you need to do is to practice. I was checking and your pronunciation is very good and you speak very well. Actually the all the group is, is very nice. If you continue you are going to achieve that one. Also what you need to do I know that I mean, you have to work and there are many things to do. Uh, but if you also practice 10, 15 more minutes during the day, that is going to help you learn as well. Okay. So um, I know that this is just the first class, but of course, if you have questions during the class, you can ask. If you have questions, you can ask in the chat as well. And uh, continue with that one. You are doing a very good job. Okay. Perfect. Do you have any other question before we finish? Um, no. Not really. Okay. Very well. So see you tomorrow. Have a very good night and uh, continue practicing. Okay. Uh, uh, good, good night. Good night.